Yeah, I think it's Georgia. I, I, I think it might even be a blowout. Like, I think before, <laughs> before looking at this game or before learning about the Baker Mayfield illness, I think Georgia's better just about at every position across the board, and they've had tougher opponents and played well. And the one team that they lost to was Auburn. It was an embarrassing loss. You know what they did a few weeks later? They dominated Auburn. And the one team that Oklahoma lost to was Iowa State. Like, no one's out here talking about, hey, Iowa State, that's a fearsome team. So the one chance that I thought Oklahoma had of winning this game was Baker Mayfield just going off. And if Baker Mayfield is not at 100%, that's the one advantage that I could imagine Oklahoma had coming into this game. So uh, unless there's some sort of major fluke, I think this should be an easy win for, for Georgia, an frankly. Easy win. Wow. Uh, assuming Baker Mayfield just has a cold and not something crazy, I, I, I got to go with Oklahoma here because that offense is incredible this is a case of strength versus strength you know we know it's the Oklahoma offense versus the Georgia defense Baker Mayfield we all know is amazing I mean, you can throw out any number of statistics the over 70 percent completion rate the 11.8 yards per attempt he is unbelievable which is why he ran away with the Heisman however this Oklahoma defense this much maligned Oklahoma defense is not as bad as people think in fact they have been improving they had a lot of injuries during the season we saw that against Ohio State if Georgia doesn't score, if they fall behind at all and they're forced to throw like what happened in the loss to Auburn, I completely can see Oklahoma winning this game. Yeah, so that's the tough thing about saying that uh, there's a difference between college and pro. When you say that their defense has gotten better, you got to look at the, the opponents. Like, it's not like the NFL where everyone you play. Yeah, I mean, Ohio State's okay, but look at the rest of that. That Big 12 schedule okay. is not necessarily playing against the same type of talent that Georgia has. And throughout the course of their entire season, I, I don't imagine, like, the strength of schedule is out there. Georgia's strength of schedule is much better, and they knocked off Auburn most recently. That is a real team that had an argument for deserving to be in the, the college football playoffs. I don't think that uh, that Ohio State outside of, or excuse me, I don't think that Oklahoma has very many impressive wins on their schedule outside of Ohio State. And their defense, like, they're getting better, but they give up huge numbers of points against teams that are much worse than Georgia and don't have that, that vaunted running attack. Who do you see getting back to the title game in this one, Mina? I'm going with Clemson. I think they're, they're the more well-rounded team. Now, obviously, they took a step back at quarterback, although I think Kelly Bryant is still very good, possibly better than Jalen Hurts. But that defense, Jen, I mean, you know, first in just about every category. That front seven, you can probably find an NFL player at almost every position. They are going to make Jalen Hurts' life miserable. They're actually better in point differential if you adjust for opponent than they were last season. I think they are a more complete team which is why i believe i know bama gets the name recognition that's why they're favorites but clemson is the better team if you really dig into the roster yeah but it's not as as in the last game the talent disparity is so clear and obvious in georgia's favor the talent disparity in this game is not it's very close their game last year was very close all their games are very close this one's going to be close too so i i wouldn't bet on this one i feel comfortable knowing this is going to be a close game towards the end i don't feel like overpowered that um, Alabama is going to win, but I think Alabama has a chance to pull it out because of the name that you mentioned earlier is Kelly Bryant. He's not Deshaun Watson. If you rewatch that game from last year, the difference in that game was not uh, uh, Clemson's D-line. It was not all these talented players on defense. The difference in that game was Deshaun Watson was able to make things happen when there shouldn't have been, when there weren't opportunities. He was the difference maker between two fairly evenly matched teams. And this, this game is going to come to two fairly even, evenly matched teams. And I'm not sure that Kelly Bryant, I think Kelly Bryant and Jalen Hurst are close to even. So I, I would give the edge to Georgia in this situation. Be Bama. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Say one I'm, I'm, in love with, thing. I'm in love with Georgia. I'm in love <laughs> Say with Georgia. Say what? In your place. entire, I, I heard you talking about Deshaun Watson, Kelly Bryant. You, did you have anything positive to say about Bama, or is it just more the fact that Kelly Bryant's not as good as Deshaun Watson? I mean, can you acknowledge the fact that they have the best defense in oh, yeah. the country and have That's, an incredible amount of talent on that front seven? Yeah, I think, I mean, I would even narrow it. I think the whole front seven is great. I would even narrow it down to, to Clemson's linemen. Like, though, that is unbelievable. I think all of them are terrifying, but it's not as if their linemen were bad last year. And I think that that team, Georgia, or excuse me, Alabama, Alabama, <laughs> is they, they, pay, they pay Nick Saban an exorbitant amount of money, but they also have more coaches than just about any other team in the, in the country. They pay a lot of money to, to people to scheme around mm. 
these type of advantages, and they seem to be able to scheme around it last year. It's not like Jalen Hurts had a bad game last year. I expect him to have a better game this year, and this is Kelly Bryant's first first shot at a big game like this. And if I have to go, I give the edge. You go to quarterback if if the um, if everything else is pretty close to equal, and I give the edge slightly to Jalen Hurst, I guess maybe slightly to the Alabama coaching staff. I I, I just have more faith in them than I do. Uh...